Never forget, Starship was built with the ultimate goal of getting humans to Mars. Not just to Leo, not just to the moon. We're going further. We're going to colonize the red planet. Elon Musk has been chasing this dream since the early days. And just recently, he revealed some huge updates in the timeline for this wild yet monumental plan. Let's dive into the details in today's episode and see how close we are to making this bold vision a reality. It started when Bill Emmon, Pershing Square Capital Management, posted a message that quickly gained attention. Let's make America healthy again. This caught the eye of Elon Musk. He responded with an ambitious statement. SpaceX created the first fully reusable rocket stage and, much more importantly, made the reuse economically viable. Making life multiplanetary is fundamentally a cost per ton to Mars problem. Indeed, Starship was designed with the primary goal of getting humans to Mars. But unlike other SpaceX vehicles like Falcon or Dragon, which were built to generate profit from the start, the financial outlook of making money on Mars is far from clear, at least in the first decade after humans set foot on the red planet. In other words, when SpaceX embarks on the mission to Mars, they're essentially burning money. According to Elon Musk's calculations, the current cost of transporting one ton of cargo from Earth to Mars is around $1 billion. This is an astronomical figure, far beyond what most organizations and governments can afford. With this number, the idea of building a self-sustaining city on Mars is impossible. Aware of this challenge, SpaceX is working tirelessly to bring the cost down to $100,000 per ton, which would be even cheaper than current costs of delivering cargo from Earth to the ISS by several orders of magnitude. It's an extremely ambitious goal. Shortly after, Elon Musk also outlined his roadmap for Mars colonization. He announced that the first Starship would be launched to Mars within the next two years, aligning with the next Earth-Mars window. That's right, two years. It's an extremely optimistic and ambitious statement, but it does make sense, actually. Every 26 months, Earth and Mars align in their orbits around the Sun, creating the most optimal launch window. If SpaceX misses this opportunity, they'll have to wait over two more years for the next one. In this industry, time is money, and Musk is determined not to waste resources by missing such a crucial window. The challenge is that this two-year timeline coincides with SpaceX's plans for the Artemis mission, NASA's program to return humans to the Moon. This means SpaceX is aiming to achieve both historic milestones, sending humans to the Moon, and launching a space spacecraft to Mars in the same year. Can they pull this off? The Artemis mission essentially serves as a crucial stepping stone for Starship before it sets its sights on Mars. It's almost like a full-scale rehearsal for SpaceX, simulating what Starship will go through when landing on another celestial body. Artemis will allow SpaceX to gain invaluable experience in landing on an extraterrestrial surface, which will be incredibly useful when it comes to building a base on Mars in the future. While conducting both the Artemis mission and the first Mars flight nearly simultaneously might seem like an overwhelming task, it's not impossible. This is mainly due to the different profiles of these two missions. Artemis will be a crewed mission to the moon, with the primary goal of safely landing astronauts on the lunar surface and returning them to Earth. On the other hand, the first flight to Mars will be uncrewed, essentially a test mission with the main objective of evaluating Starship's core capabilities in the real conditions of an interplanetary flight in Mars's environment. SpaceX wants to know, can Starship land intact on the surface of Mars? What's the exact travel time to Mars? Will it align with the predicted and calculated journey time? Or, in a more negative scenario, if Starship doesn't make it, how far can it go before failing? To answer these questions, SpaceX doesn't even need to send special cargo. They could simply launch an empty ship to maximize data collection and minimize risk. But of course, what journey doesn't come with its challenges? SpaceX still has a lot of work to do before sending their first ship to Mars. First and foremost, they need to perfect orbital refueling, the journey to Mars isn't as simple as launching a spacecraft into low Earth orbit and landing it, like we've seen with Flight 4. This is a long trip, requiring a massive amount of fuel. This process involves launching multiple starships filled with fuel into orbit, then transferring that fuel to the primary ship destined for Mars. Secondly, they need to develop the capability for return to launch site, RTLS. RTLS is a crucial factor in reducing costs and increasing the feasibility of Mars missions. Estimates suggest that SpaceX will need more than 10 launches just to deliver a single human landing system, HLS module to the moon. If the booster and Starship can't safely return after each launch, the cost of delivering one ton of cargo to Mars will definitely exceed the current $1 billion price tag. According to the plan, 
SpaceX is aiming to perfect its RTLS capability this year and orbital refueling next year. To achieve these goals, SpaceX needs to significantly ramp up the number of test flights. In fact, the company has filed for permission to launch 25 times per year from Starbase, Texas, and 44 times annually from its new launch pad under construction in Florida. However, this effort is facing a major hurdle from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. At present, the FAA hasn't approved this increase in launches and hasn't even given the green light for Starship's upcoming Flight 5. Well, in my opinion, with the current pace of FAA review and approvals, SpaceX should consider applying for their first Mars launch in two years from today. This way, the FAA will have enough time to work through its procedures. Elon Musk also mentioned that if the test landings go smoothly, we could see the first crewed flights to Mars within the next four years. I know some people might criticize Musk for being overly optimistic. However, if we look back at SpaceX's history, this has always been the company's spirit. How many successful suborbital test flights did SpaceX need before moving on to integrated flight tests? Just one. And the same approach applies here. While sending humans to Mars for a month-long journey is an entirely different story, SpaceX's aggressive ambition remains unchanged. So, who's ready to be a Mars pioneer? I've asked many space fans this question, and surprisingly, a lot of them are enthusiastic. In fact, they're so straightforward that they say, we're dying anyway sign us up. As an observer, I have to admit that a four-year timeline seems too short to prepare for such a complex mission. Personally, I think a longer time frame, perhaps closer to a decade, would be more realistic, and it's totally fine to me. I'm willing to wait. After that, the construction of a Mars base will begin. According to the plan, before sending any astronauts to Mars, SpaceX intends to land at least two unmanned cargo ships on the surface of the Red Planet. These cargo missions will deliver essential supplies, like life support systems, and power generators, things the first astronauts will need as they begin building the Martian base. These missions will also confirm the presence of natural resources that can be harvested on Mars. Specifically, SpaceX aims to extract water ice from the Martian surface and carbon dioxide from its atmosphere to produce rocket fuel on site. By using electrolysis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, then combining the hydrogen with carbon dioxide through the Sabatier reaction, SpaceX can produce methane, the primary fuel for Starship's Raptor engines. The excess oxygen from this process will be used as an oxidizer. The first Starship sent to Mars won't just serve as transport vehicles. They are designed to become the first shelters for Mars explorers, providing a safe living environment in the early stages of exploration. SpaceX's long-term vision goes far beyond that. Elon Musk has repeatedly expressed his ambition to build a self-sustaining colony with a population of up to one million people on Mars. We're talking about one of the most complex and dangerous endeavors in human history. We need time and we need money. And first things first, in the short term, SpaceX needs to focus on testing Starship to ensure it can safely leave Earth and return. All right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth looks at the latest advancements in space technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.